Thank you, Mike. New this morning, San Antonio police investigating, trying to figure out what exactly led up to a shooting of a minor overnight. This is what we know right now. Officers got a call for a young person shot around 9 p.m. They responded to this situation. This is Valley High Drive near Springvale Drive, but police say the shooting actually happened somewhere else. Still unclear how old this victim is, but an officer on the scene telling us he was shot in the shoulder, brought to Valley High location to get help. Right now, still no suspects in custody. No arrests have been made. And top stories this morning. Changes in parking and security are headed to the St. Mary's Strip in the next few weeks. During a meeting yesterday, Tobin Hill residents and the Business Owners Association discussed the solutions to work the complaints about the crime, trash, and parking. Now, 16 out of the 19 businesses have agreed to voluntarily change their operating standards. Some of those changes have to do with limiting the entry age to 21 years old, the price of drinks, and even hiring off-duty sheriff deputies to patrol inside businesses and on the streets. Some of those changes are already underway. The San Antonio Police Department will implement some residential-only street parking with officers patrolling the area starting next weekend. Now, for patrons wanting to visit St. Mary's bars and businesses, it seems that ride sharing is in their future. We need more little areas where ride share can pick up and drop off passengers safely instead of just pulling on the side of the street. The overall goal for the Tobin Hill Community Association and Business Association is to work together and see positive progress all around in the next two years. So you can head over to our website at kset.com to see what an entertainment area in Dallas did to find common ground in a similar situation. Now to the latest in the war in Ukraine, more civilian deaths reported there, including an American. This as Russia's war continues to rage on. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says he personally agrees with President Biden that Russia is committing war crimes in Ukraine. The president is scheduled to speak with his Chinese counterpart today to assess where Beijing stands on the war. So as ABC's Faith Abube reports, the Biden administration, there's a big concern about why weeks into this war, China still has yet to denounce Russia's deadly attacks on Ukraine and on their civilians. In the Ukrainian capital city of Kyiv, Relentless Russian missile strikes leaving neighborhood after neighborhood in ruins, surviving locals sifting through the rubble of their destroyed homes. To the east, heavy black smoke billowing over a street market in Kharkiv. U.S. officials say as Ukraine's resistance stalls the Russian advance on the ground, the Kremlin is now relying on longer range missile systems doing major damage across the country. The ABC News source adding that generations of high ranking members of the U.S. military, quote, are simply simply astonished how poorly the Russians have performed. Fears now about what Putin may do next. We believe that Moscow may be setting the stage to use a chemical weapon and then falsely blame Ukraine to justify escalating its attacks on the Ukrainian people. Secretary Blinken says he personally believes Russia is committing war crimes in Ukraine. The latest Russian shelling of a school and community center reportedly killing more than 20 people. And now a State Department official confirms a U.S. citizen, 68-year-old James Whitney Hill, was among those killed in a Russian attack in Chernihiv. His family says he was out looking for food. President Biden calling Putin a murderous dictator and a thug. Putin's brutality and what he's doing and his troops are doing in Ukraine is just inhumane. The president also sent to speak with China's leader today about whether Beijing is planning to help Russia with its war in Ukraine in any way. Bloomberg reports there are, quote, signs that China is seeking ways to soften the blow of sanctions imposed on Russia. The fact that China has not denounced what Russia is doing in and in and of itself speaks volumes. In the meantime, a bipartisan group of senators is heading to Poland and Germany this weekend to learn more from top military leaders about the NATO and U.S. response to the war in Ukraine. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News. Time now, 439, 60 degrees out.